Hello friends, welcome back to STEMbrarians. Uh, today we will be focusing on the T in STEM, which is technology. So I'm going to show you guys a really cool website uh, called Code Combat, and it is a great way to kind of learn the beginnings of coding. It's a fun interactive site that lets you uh, play through a, a adventure dungeon type game uh, while learning basic coding uh, script. So I am gonna show you guys a quick walkthrough on how to set up an account, how to start kind of the first little beginning of coding, and also show you how you can join our classroom to practice some more as you go on. So let's get into the video. Okay, friends, so let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna do is open up your search browser and type in codecombat.com, and it'll bring you to this website that I mentioned before is all about coding in a fun and easy manner. So we are gonna go here, and if you scroll down, there's an option that says, I'm a student, so you guys will click that. And then you're gonna enter the class code. So the class code for the library is called Bath Hair Fast. Very strange, not sure why, but it tells you once you type it in, you're about to join the Fairlone Library with Alex Mendez, that's me, Miss Alex. And so you hit continue. You can fill in your information. So we're just gonna use Maurice, and we're gonna use the children's room email, and we're going to call him Marisa M. Pine, and we're going to put our password that nobody needs to see. Okay, don't look at that. All right, so you hit create account, include this little guy, you get to select your hero. So I'm going to pick, let's go with Hadatori, because I kind of like his cool armor. And then you just hit next, and it says account created. Write down this information so you don't forget it, and make sure you do that, because I know a lot of times Kids have trouble remembering passwords. <laughs> so write down your username, write down your email, and write down your password, and then you can start playing. So when you start playing, it'll bring you to the screen here, and you'll see class mini tournaments if we have any, which we don't at the moment, uh, but we do have here our current class. So the class that we are currently working on is Python, which is a form of coding script. There's uh, Python, there's Java, there's a bunch of different ones, uh, but Python is the one that we will be using. Um, and it's just introduction to computer science is just to start. So you could click start and it'll show you introduction to computer science. So it'll show you this is our little map that we're going to be eventually going on. So it shows a little arrow. So you click that, gives you a little description. And you can see there is a little path you have to follow. So it says avoid the spikes, collect the gem. So you follow the arrows to get to the gem. Now, for How do you do that? Grab the question. treasure. Oh, let me turn this down a little bit so that way. You can use these methods. Type your code on the right. There, okay, we're going to mute them just so you guys can hear me a little better. So, you're going to just basically follow the directions. There's a tutorial on the first couple levels. So, it says type your code on the right. And here are the different ways the hero can move. So, you can always just click, you know, which one if you want, or copy and paste, but it's easy to just type it. It automatically populates. So you'll see it says type a move down command. So you would click here, you type the word hero dot, oh, where did it go? Hero, and then right there it says move down, you select it, and then you're gonna hit run. So let's see, and bam, there he goes. But wait a minute, Miss Alex, he didn't get to the gym, you didn't complete the goal. So you have to keep going until you make it all the way to the gym. So now, let's see if we go right down right and there we go so he didn't run into any of the spikes he collected the gem and you could see goal success we completed our first mission woohoo so the next thing you do is you hit done it tells you what level you've completed how many more levels there are in this basic first class and what you'll learn in some new context so it'll show you right over here a little video so i'm not going to play the video but it will show you a video so you can learn a little bit more and then you could always skip it if you don't really feel like learning the video right now. And so we're just gonna skip for now. And now you're on the next level, gems in the deep. Again, the goal, just avoid the spikes and collect the gems. So as the levels go on, you will get increasingly harder um, roles and, and um, paths you have to follow. And you'll learn different methods of coding. So you'll learn different actions. So I'm gonna go over to my account. So just give me one second here. Okay, friends, so I am on my account now, and as you can see, I just skipped ahead to level three. So you can see here, it says, don't run into the spike, collect the gems like before, but now it also says, don't let the ogre see you. And if you look at the screen right over here, 
there is a what little a ogre guy. So, it has us moving right to start, but how will we avoid the ogre? If we go right again, let's see what happens. If I type in hero, move right. If I type in hero, move right, and we run move the right. code. Uh oh, Look what Stop. happens. He found us and he tries to attack us. Uh oh. Hero has been slain. And we've Better been delete slain. your last line of code and try again. So that's not going to work. So let's try maybe if we move up. So we'll go to this dot first and then go up. But we're not near the gems then. So let's see if we go right and then down and then right. Let's see if this works. So right, up, right, the statue blocks perfectly, no ogre attack, and we collect all of our gems. So it kind of makes you need to read the map very well so you can see and make sure you're not getting into any extra trouble. So I'm gonna go back over here and skip ahead again. And we're gonna go to the enemy mine. And I'm not going to show you too much because I don't want to spoil everything, but let's just get this open. So here we have something that is a little more difficult. It is a maze here in the middle that you could fall off of, and these little blue dots are fire bombs. So you don't want to get hit. So it starts us off here, so now we have to figure out how are we going to get around without exploding ourselves with the fire traps. So, you can see here, they have a number now inside. So the number, they'll explain to you in some of the previous ones, moves you automatically. So you don't have to type hero move right five times or three times. So if we do hero move up, and then hero move right, oops, keep skipping on and then hero move down, but if we put the number four in there, it should move down four spaces. And then we need hero move right. And let's see if we put a two in there, if that works. So if we run the code, you can see, oh, my computer's lagging in a little bit. Sorry about that, friends. She'll get there eventually. <laughs> Come on, Ilya. Go, don't lag. <laughs> there we go. So as you guys can see, she moved down. Oh, but guess what? I blew up. I moved down too many spaces. So even though there's one, two, three, four, when we move right, we land on that spot. So you have to count very carefully and see where your character will be landing before you run the code. So now we can see she goes right and then she goes down the three and right two. So it's pretty simple once you kind of get the hang of it. And again, there's more that increases and goes on and on as you go keep going up to other levels. So I will just show you one more, just another basic concept they teach. And as soon as it loads, there we go. So this is where you battle an enemy. So you still have to collect gems, you still have to move, but they want you to attack the enemy. So you can see here, if we run the code right now, if we move right, that guy Brack on top tries to attack us. But because we put in our code, hero attack, and we put Brack's name in the parentheses, that means we attack him. But we still need to get the gem and we have to defeat Treg. Those are part of our goals. In case you ever forget, you can always check right up here. So you can see here there's a new method, which is attack and target. So first we have to move right to get towards the little gem. And if we put move right twice, we'll start to move towards the exit. Oops, it has to go into parentheses. Sorry about that. So yes, if we put a two in here, that means we'll move right twice towards the exit, but Treg is gonna try to attack us. So let's put hero attack, 
And instead of leaving it saying um, enemy name, we're going to put Trey. So let's see if that works. So we run the code. Oh, and uh-oh, look what Miss Alex did. She made a mistake. And that's going to happen from time to time. So instead, what you do is you read the correction that they provide you, and you put attack Trey instead of Trek. So let's try that and see what happens. So now we run, we attack, we move right, we attack, but uh-oh, guess what? I only put attack once, and now I'm dead. Dun, dun, dun. So you have to attack all the enemies twice to make sure that they die. So you put hero, attack, we put treg, and now let's see if we're able to finish our mission. So we attack him, and guess what? We killed him, we got the gem, we survived, mission complete. So there you have it folks, code combat, it's really great. Like I said, they have other types of different concepts. They have JavaScript, they have C++. So there are all different options for you guys to see. Um, and as you go through the classes, when you sign up, I'll skip ahead here, uh, I can see my class and I can see uh, who signed up. So we'll, I'll see your name here, I'll see your progress, and as you're doing better and better, I can also give you different assignments and different levels. So everyone will start at level one, but if you want to try and push your luck and keep going, I can put you on a more advanced class if you have some experience. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, tutorial, and I'll see you back in person in just a minute. Wasn't that pretty cool, guys? So, like I said in the video, if you want to join our cool classroom, the link is going to be in the description, and just uh, sign up. You'll get the invite when you put the code in, and you'll be all set. And we'd love to see the cool things you learn as well as create on your own. And uh, we'll see you next week for another episode of Stimbarians with Miss Sarah. All right, friends, have a great rest of the weekend, and we'll see you later. Bye.